Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and this will just be a quick video to talk about this little board right here. Um, the the ICOM CT17 box, this guy right here, is a uh, you know four port CT17 interface box. It's about 140 dollars from uh, from HRO, and uh, it lets you talk serially to ICOM devices, up to four of them, right? And um, I had the requirement that if you wanted to use the pigtail with uh, with ICOM, then you needed one of these boxes. Well, I didn't really like the price of it um, and the size, as well as the need for external power. So, uh, so what I did was I created this little board right here. Uh, it plugs directly into the pigtail, and it just does a level conversion, and it gives you a single interface here to plug in a mono audio cable. And also, it gets power directly from the pigtail itself. On pin 4 uh, of this connector right here, there's 3 volts being supplied. So when you plug in this board, and that's via jumper. So there's a jumper inside the pigtail that you you connect, and, uh, and that applies power to that pin. Uh, so whenever you plug in this board, it gets the power from that uh, to power this IC right here. That's doing a, a level shift for us. Um, there are external pads here if you wanted to power it externally for some reason. So right now I have uh, I have this up and running and I have the uh, the iPad over here talking to this uh, 706. So let's go into Pigtail and I have the 706 selected now. And there's the Pigtail. And let's add a contact. Sorry, I'm not using the tripod this time. You know, so we look down at the radio, it's at 145 megahertz. And it's moving up top. If I spin the VFO. Oh, spinning the wrong VFO. And then all the, this is just like the other ICOM video, everything in here works. Go down to 80 meters. So that's the update for this little board right here. This will be in the shop for probably about 20 bucks um, in about a week or so. I need to buy these connectors here, the headphone jack as well as the uh, the DB9 connector. Uh, I do have all the boards. I have all the other components, just not those two. Those These two came in the mail today, and I just threw it together real quick to test it. So uh, look for that in the store in about a week. Thanks. Bye. And one other thing I wanted to show you, um, it works with computers as well. So this is a, uh, a Keyspan USB to serial adapter that I have plugged into my Mac right now. And the, uh, the pigtail is plugged in here. I'm oh, sorry, the, uh, the CT17 board is plugged in. Um, pin 4 power also comes from devices like this. It's the data terminal ready pin uh, that will go high and supply 5 volts uh, under normal operating conditions of a an RS-232 port and uh, the computer will turn that on as soon as you hit connect in whatever terminal application you're using so right now I'm supplying 5 volts to this board this chip is uh, 3 to 5.5 volts uh, so it works as well with computers so uh, I have it plugged into the ICOM right now and the ICOM's turned on this application that you see right here is called cool term it's a Mac application that uh, is very helpful in that it can show ASCII as well as hex um, data so now if I spin the VFO on the ICOM, you can see the data start rolling in. Now, ICOM proactively updates out the uh, the CIV port uh, whenever changes are made. Now, this is changing the mode. And then spinning the VFO. You can see the frequency updates start rolling in. So, uh, so it's not just for pigtail, it uh, works with computers as well.